So I don't know about you all, but every once in a while, the thought crosses my mind about what am I going to do when I get older? You know, what is my life going to look like? I hope it doesn't get boring. Well, in this film, they give you a very crazy idea that actually worked because it's based on true events. So let's talk about it because hopefully sooner or later this happens to me. But if not, I guess I'll just keep doing movie reviews. Let's jump into the review of the new film, Jerry and Marge Go Large. What's up, folks, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today we're going to be reviewing the film Jerry and Marge Go Large, which made its world premiere at Tribeca Film Festival 2022 and is available now on Paramount+. Plus. Now, this film, I sorted it out at Tribeca, said, hmm, Brian Cranston's in something. Let's see what's up. I had no clue that Paramount had already purchased this film, so I didn't know the release was going to be uh, that soon. But Brian Cranston, alongside of Annette Bening, um, plays Jerry and Marge. They have been married since 17. And now Jerry is entering retirement, and he is not happy about it at all. I mean, he truly has the true retirement package. I mean, he has some money, some money, um, they're, they're, you know, his, his, his family and, and friends and whatnot, they, they're getting him things. He has a boat. So like, yeah, boat, you know, that's exactly what retired folks do. But like, this isn't for him because Jerry is a numbers guy. He is brilliant with numbers. I mean, he puts his own accountant to shame. And when he starts to get a little bit of time to start thinking about things, well, one day just at a diner, he decides that, well... I think I'm going to play the lottery because that seems like a very retirement thing to do, right? But it wasn't just that because he believes he's found um, sort of a, um, should we say a glitch? He found a, a he found an issue within it, thus something he could exploit. And with him being able to find this flaw in the design of the reti uh, of the lottery, he says, "Well, I'm gonna play." He played it didn't quite work out the way he did but then he figured it out a little bit more and then it worked and then he went back to his wife i mean not right away because she definitely wasn't happy about it he he did not think she was going to be happy about it initially but she was because this is the golden years right and while they don't have much going on life is a little bit boring for the two of them this is something interesting here because now that he's found this loophole in the lottery and they can win a lot of money this becomes a game to them and a, and a very tangible, safe game for them because he's so good with numbers. He's absolutely guaranteed to win every time he plays as long as certain things happen. And it's not just a cup, an old couple making a lot of money. He wants to invest back into his small city, which makes it even more of a thing. And, you know, with that, you know, it's sort of like a he, he, he becomes like the pseudo mayor of this town because like. He's bringing money, which is bringing opportunity investments and just uh, everything from this small town to kind of come back alive. So it's a really dope story. And again, like I said, it's based on and inspired by true events. Um, and it's really about a small town and and, 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 a, and a small town gone big because of a couple who just did not want to sit on the bench for retirement. So, yeah, it's been 42 years since they... Uh, you know, since high school and he's a retired factory worker and they've been married since 17 and retirement wasn't just for them. And instead, they said, let's play the lottery. Let's make a lot of money and let's invest back into our hometown. And it became a game. So Jerry and Mars was playing this windfall lottery machine. Right. And it wasn't just gambling for them because he actually had calculated the probable outcomes of him being able to win. So it was a strategy. It wasn't gambling because gambling implies a sense of like potentially losing no he had it worked out so they were winning all the time which is again just another testament to how good he was with his numbers besides numerous times putting his accountant to shame <laughs> and it's not just that because he wasn't the only one to figure out this loophole there's a bunch of smart college kids who else figured it out and that started to become a little bit of a problem but maybe not nothing jerry couldn't handle and whatnot so 
Yeah, you know, here's the thing. Um, them playing lottery, uh, you know, is requiring them to do a little bit of a travel. I mean, they're doing 10-hour drives in order to play the game. It's because the lottery machines that they play were only in a certain state. So with that, you know, they're making this trip from to Massachusetts from Georgia. Um, and, and, and then every time they played, it was just more and more money being invested. I mean, think about this. They were at a lottery machine spending upwards of like 16,000, which would produce about 8,000 tickets. That means that machine had to print 8,000 tickets, which means they had to wait for the machine to print 8,000 tickets. And that was just the start because it got more and more um, as they started to make more and more. And and then let's, 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 let's call it what it is. My first thoughts is like, oh, they're definitely breaking the law, but they're not. It's not, it's not against the law to, to, to buy lottery tickets. Not at all. And the loophole that they found wasn't their issue, you know? So it was a legit thing that they were doing Just take a lot of time and dedication. Now, God was Brian Cranston great in this. Absolutely hilarious. Uh, Rain Wilson is in this. As, Rain Wilson is in this as well as Bill. He's great. And then Annette, Arnett as Marge is fantastic. Um, the three of them really good. Uh, Rain is Rain is like you know obviously since his days of the office just continues to reinvent himself and in the company of the the likes of Brian and Mar uh, and and then Arnett just really brings another element to this movie that I wasn't expecting. I didn't even know he was casted in this and and when he was almost like a cameo at a point. And then you start to realize, oh, no, this character is actually going to be around. He's like, oh, this is like another bit of like entertainment to everything that was already entertainment that you just overly love. It's the icing of the cake here. Um, and, 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 and beyond all of this, you know, it's a cute love story. It's about two who did not give up on life, but they tried to find in entertainment, excitement, enjoyment in a way means of playing the lottery and even in the moments where jerry was kind of like reluctant into telling marge that he was playing the lottery it was really cute how she was just like look this is this is our calling i think this is for us i don't think it was ever about the money because they were investing it back it was just that the two of them were able to you know do something have something for the two of them you know give a little bit more purpose to their life and i thought that was really cute um they, I believe they calculated like that they won about twenty-seven million dollars for this uh, repetition of of playing every three weeks, like insane. And there's actual pictures in the credits of the two of them, so it's really cute. So like beyond just you know the fun, the excitement, the little bit of a issues they had with those other college kids trying to get in there, those Harvard students, of course they're Harvard students and whatnot trying to get involved you know it's still a lot of fun and i think that you know the fact that like it was a feel-good story that you may never may never heard you know you know what i mean learning a little bit about the laws of the lottery and also how some of the laws have changed because of this and and not to necessarily say like the laws were to restrict people from playing but it just was a a, a means in a matter of protection and a means of matter of like how you can prevent other folks from kind of like beating the system and whatnot. And there was little things that they didn't like beat you on the head with, but like if you understood how the lottery is now and understood how they were playing it originally, you would think that the film was fake because like no way. But then they explain why the laws have changed over time because of something like this. So, you know, I, I, I really enjoyed this. They're professional lottery players and, 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 and they're spicing up their life. You know, I, here's the thing. They had senior citizen swag and then after that, they just was on a whole nother level after that. Like they, they, they were, they were feeling themselves for real. So, but yeah, you know, again, this is available now on Paramount Plus. I really enjoyed this film. As in, in terms of films I checked out at Tribeca, you know, this was a really good one. And if I didn't know anybody, I would have known it should have already been so, considering the names attached. But honestly, after watching it, it's it deserves to be available right now it's really that good and that fun so yeah check it out jerry and marge go large i love to play on words here available now paramount plus jump in the comments let me know your thoughts about this film and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon
Big old bad 